straight win. Now you know you're tuned into the number one Friday night football show in Mississippi, but do we all know who Malik Deer is? Do we know what number he is? I believe so. Bobby Hall bought out those words in a memorable t timeout the last time Murrow was in Madison. Could the Mustangs put the same scare in the Jags tonight? Mike Perchick standing by with our Sonic Game of the Week. Well, the second week in a row, game of the week back here in Madison Central, and the Jaguars hope this week goes a bit better than last week's loss to Clinton. Will Trey Smith help the Jaguars improve to 4-2, and two, or will Malik Deer keep the Mustangs perfect? First possession, a three and out for Murrah, and this would only exacerbate it. Snap goes over the puncher's head. Jags will take over at the 8 and convert. Trey Smith rolls out and eventually in for the score. 7-0 Madison Central. After Joshua Rowland booted in a 37-yard field goal to make it 10-0, Murrow would respond in the second quarter. On a fourth and eight, Stephen Mitchell finding King James Thomas for 20 yards to keep the drive alive. And a couple of plays later, Mitchell would hit Marquisian Chapman from 31 yards out to put the Mustangs on the board. 10-6 Jaguars. Bobby's boys build the lead right back up as Smith with the swing pass to Jalen Uzadinma, who bursts down the sideline and crosses the pylon for the score. 17-6, Madison Central. Late second quarter, Jaguars trying to extend their lead, but Murrah's D stepping up. Melvin Mangum picking it off for the Mustangs. Under a minute to go in the half, it's Deer throwing a rainbow pass to Chapman, who takes it in for his second score of the night. The 22-yard hookup, pulling Murrow within four. Jaguar leading 17-13 at the half. Second half, and the Jags jump out of the gate. Madison marches down the field, and Trey sneaking in from two yards out, 24-13 Jag. But if you know anything about Blitz, it's never count out Malik Deer. On a fourth and five, the Bulldog commit is off to the races. He would have run all the way to Starkville if he wasn't dragged down in the end zone. Tonight, though, was about the Smiths. With the NFL Films crew in tow to profile Jimmy, Trey made the family name proud. First, he throws a perfect pass to DJ Montgomery for a 45-yard score. Next drive, he takes it in himself from a yard out. His fifth and final touchdown on a QB sneak. At this rate, NFL Films should just stick around and start working on a football life. The Trey Smith story. Jags up 45-20 at that point. They'd go on to win 52-28. You know, I was proud we was able to run the ball milk clock down at the end. Uh, it put us on the uh, right track, back to where we're trying to go, which is a state championship, and I think we're on, we're on the right road. Through their first six games, Murrah had only allowed 49 points. Tonight, Madison put in 52 on the Mustangs, many of those thanks to the arms and legs of Trey Smith. For now in Madison, Mike Perch, 16 WAPT Sports. All right. Thanks, Mike. Here's a quick recap of tonight's game. Madison Central hands Murrah its first loss of the season, 52-28. The all-ball coach Bobby Hall still unbeaten on homecoming with the G.